A278s, we over here got all the batteries that we need for the Amlet's build project. Um, I don't know. It's always cost way more than we ever thought, thought going to, but it's at least we got all good wires. Is you put the cock in the hole and then you screw it. You screw it in real good. You put the cock in the hole and then you screw it down real good. Yep. I didn't realize, but we have to make a four, have it be a quadrant paddle. We can't actually have them all in a row like this because the cord won't, would have fit because, you know, the cord's only so long. And so the only way that the four patterns will fit together is that they all have to be right next to each other and not in a row. Right. And I didn't realize that when I designed the solar system because I had it, you know, work, did a, I didn't never install a 400 watt energy system before. And I just thought, oh yeah, they got all the wires we need. But then, and then when I was up here putting it together, it, yeah, so that's why we're still working on it into the night. And we're going to get it done. Yep. We're going from the inside out because that way we know exactly where it's going to be. Where it's going to hold. And right there on the corner, so we're going to go right down the corner. Right down here and into the battery box. It's your system. This is the moment of truth right here. Are you sure that we not missing anything? Probably not. Uh, okay. Well, this is the moment of truth, man. Boom. Nothing. <laughs> no, it's on. Look, the, the yeah, charge controller. I'm just messing with 13 you. volts. Boom. It's a charge control wake up. Boom, 13 volts. Oh, Batteries on. Alright, now we gotta turn the inverter on. Yeah, the inverter on. Boom. Working. Uh yeah, you got power. Yep, we have power. Look, the light on. Alright, now let's plug it in. Not yet. Alright, turn on the fridge. Now these lights are just DC off the starting yeah. battery system. Oh, so this will tell me how many watts it's pulling anyway. So let's see. I mean, this thing will tell me amps. So if it's not pulling amps, then it's pulling it off the minus three. So it's pulling it off the, the inverter basically. See? Yeah. So, what do we have? Grab your heater. We're going to hook up the battery charger to the truck battery. And run it off the lithium. And, and run it off the lithium and see, see what it does. We're over here. Yeah. Can't see. Okay, bingo. Okay. So, if the voltage doesn't drop, but the truck then it's perfect. Yeah, now it's pulling. Well, you don't have to hook up this way. We can we can clamp it to the to the uh oh. we can clamp it to the uh I just want to see it pulling 15 amps straight out of that battery. Yeah, but we can hook a battery charge up on the inside like that too. You know, in, the, in that box, we can put that battery charge in the box and hook it right right into the system. You know. Oh. Yeah. So that way you don't have to do it like this. Oh. You know that way when you at shore power, both batteries are charging. Yeah. Um, you say that battery came with a battery charger, and then you can put this battery charger in there too to charge the house. The the. The yeah. truck batteries and both batteries are charging when you when you plugged into shore. No, it's pulling 16 amps, right? Yeah, 16 amps. Off, off the lithium. 16 times 12. And it's charging the battery. So, so. 16 times 12 is like a couple hundred watts. Uh, you know. So now it dropped it down to 13. Yeah. Yeah. Was it at 14 before? It was 13.5 or 13.6. And then what is it now? 
thirteen zero. So it's drawing. Yeah. And well, that shunt is hooked up. And once we get that shunt hooked up, we just got to plug that shunt, and it would let you know what the bar what the inverter is drawing on the other side. That's that shunt that you put in. Yeah. Where? Oh, over there. Yeah, on the top. That thing on the top in the middle. That. Okay, so. Oh, the, with the Bluetooth. Yeah, I'm gonna hook up the Bluetooth. Yeah. Biggest systems are uh, built for um, a RV. Um, this is a 300 amp hour, which is uh, close over uh, a 300, uh, 3,000 watts of battery, which is a lot. Is and and that's just shunt, and that is to tell what the inverter is doing. So that's going to the inverter. And then that's a charger controller. That's going to the, the fuse for the, the charger controller. And this is a battery, the battery charger. Um, they, you know, they definitely nice to have that way when it's when you're doing the lithium batteries to protect your alternator and to um, make sure that you can charge the lithium all the way up to 14 with a, a lead acid charge only up to, uh, you know. 12.8 so yeah so it's good and then we got the inverter and everything else so, so thank you for watching this is uh one of the biggest jobs i've done by myself um but it was a really good learning experience and Please like, subscribe, share. Let me know if you guys need any solar work done in the future. Um, more more jobs I've done like this, more experience I will have, and more I'm able to do more jobs. So yeah, um, I want to help more people and stuff with the solar panels, and RVs, and stuff. Um, if you're in Washington State, just hit me, a, send me a message or a DM on Instagram. I get people calling me all the time. So yeah. Um, it's fun it's projects, working on these projects and stuff with people. So I got, if you please subscribe if you want to learn more about solar technology or the latest technology. Um, this, this definitely was like, our, oh, we had a lot of difficulties with this and I didn't catch it all. And the pitch, I didn't, I, we were supposed to take some more pictures, but I didn't get the pictures and everything else. And just, but 